all right good morning folks it is 2020 happy new year and um i hope you guys are filled with many many goals in 2020 for sure we're gonna do some crappie fishing uh it's been a minute but i've been hearing some good things out there out there on sardis lake well sardis dam uh, we're gonna be snagging totally whole different ball game i'm telling you guys uh most people jig for their um their crappies but we're gonna we're gonna go out there and some snagging it's great to be back to recording man i miss uh i miss recording i finally got a gopro shout out to my best friend Teresa and uh her fiance mt shout out major major shout out to you guys uh for giving me the gopro uh, i'm super excited to be back out and uh just to record some you know and do some fishing things that i love to do uh things i enjoy doing and jake b casting is definitely back 2020 so let's roll Hey. We just made it to the dam and uh I don't know guys. I don't know. It doesn't look too good. The reason why number 1, the water is not flowing as as uh as it should. Like two, I'm the only person here. It's a good thing if we're catching fish. Um, so we're gonna give it a shot. I'm the only one here to catch some fish. Let's hopefully they go down there and see where the eddy's at and I guess go from there. I don't think this is a good idea, but I'm, I'm already here, so why not try it out? Man, I guess so. Let's do it. I'm gonna strap on the GoPro and just show you guys how I fish here. Uh, the sun's about to come up. It is exactly 628, 6, almost 630, and it's about 42 degrees out here. So, yeah, I'm going to switch to my GoPro, and hopefully I can catch some crappies for you guys. Let's do it. It's literally only one person. Well, it's me and also one more person, but they're fishing on the other side. Uh, he has a bucket. I didn't bring my bucket down until I know that I'll probably catch one. But uh, let's just give it a shot. Water looks okay. Looks like people has been here. So let's try it. Caught my first one. Let's go. Snagging. Guess I'll go grab the bucket. How about that, y'all? I'm the only one here. It's just a technique, y'all. You know what you do? Just throw it out there, and roll it back in. Turn up a couple times. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a copy. That's a copy. That's a copy. Little baby one. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's a crappie, folks. Oh no. Ooh, 
this is a big room. Check that out. Oh. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. I cannot lose this one. This one's huge. I've found the hot spot. There's a little one. As many times my line broke out here. Man. This is insane. This one thing is you just gotta rack up on these hooks when you when you buy them. You gotta rack up on these hooks. Or else you just won't catch any. It's crazy because I'm the only guy here uh, fishing for crappies. One guy just got here, but he's he's fishing with the colors. Let's get the color of it. It works. <sighs> Many crappie. Many crappie. Well, that's it for me, folks. Uh, I think I caught about a solid 10 to 12 crappies. Um, there's gonna be some footage soon, crappies. Um, but first, I'm gonna get this clip of um, this nice, beautiful dam, Sardis Dam. If you guys aren't familiar with it, this is exactly where I'm at. Um, I fish here often, but mostly, I'm always at Akrabutla. The biggest crappies are normally over there, so. Um, yeah, here's some footage of the of Sardis Dam. Water's kind of up. Siren came on, so yeah, you guys stay tuned, man. Had a good day fishing. It was a good day for me. Other few guys caught like two or three, so yeah, you guys check out this footage. Peace.
All right, y'all. So I just made it home, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the fish because I haven't seen it yet. I didn't even count it, but uh, yeah, about a good drive from Sardis. So here it goes. We got number one, number two. That's a good size. Number three. Boy, this one's huge. Number four. Oh my goodness. Look at the mouth of that thing. Five. Six. Oh, another big one. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number 12. I caught 12. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Here it is. Yeah, this is definitely the hubcap size. You see it's the bucket right here. About the size of the bucket. Almost the size of the bucket. All right, so to end the day, to end the day, uh, what well, to end this video, what I was mainly using was uh, these jig heads uh, right here. These basically what I was using right here. Uh, basically, they're 1 8 ounce uh, jig head with the hook on there. Um, I wasn't really using this, this, uh, this jig. I was actually using a swirly tail, more of a reddish tail, swirly tail. Um, jig head I mean a uh, jig so um, yeah everything is from Walmart if you guys are very familiar with it um, you can cop like a 25 pack of these at Walmart um, for like I think it's like 359 something like that almost four dollars but it's um, you're definitely gonna need them if you're gonna try to snag uh, that's the only downfall about snagging is like you can get down these rocks you can get on these rocks and um, pretty much lose your hooks and you have to retie over and over again so it's like a double um, so I had two of them on there and the limit is two there's no double where you can do treble hooks um, that's uh, illegal and then um, I'm using a uh, pretty much Abu Garcia <clears throat> a uh, spinning rod uh, spinning reel and then uh, this pretty much uh, I think what is this one? this one it's like a five 5 to 1 ratio. I mean, it's not the best. This right here always gets uh, gets uh, untightened, and I always have to retighten it again. Um, I try super gluing, and it still doesn't work that way. But um, yeah, I mean, this reel is super old. I still use it because it's not really um, not for like you know bass fishing, sh fishing. So I don't really worry about it too much. The rod I'm using is um, I just switched over. I was using a uh, medium two-piece rod at first but i switched out to this uh one piece rod because those two piece it'll like kind of like maloop like get out of place so that's the reason why i switched to this uh switch to this rod so i mean it's it's really for a bait caster really um but i mean just to try it out for for the day and uh i mean it did it did the job so yeah this is basically what i'm using um i would say go with a lighter setup because you're snagging but other than that i mean that's basically what i'm doing that's what i do out there on the waters um out there on a the dam pretty much only on a dam only and um i'm waiting for Acker butler to hit i'm waiting to hear that the water's running and then also it's staying consistent um Acker butler is a lot bigger uh crappies over there than um than sardis but uh hey just gotta manage to catch 12 today uh the limit is 15 and if you guys have any questions, man, just drop it down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and then if it's boring, then give me a thumbs down. But anyways, uh, hit that subscribe button because uh, I'm definitely going to do some more fishing uh, here soon. And just uh, throughout the rest of the 2020. I hope you guys have a great um, start of the 2020.
man y'all just go out and do some fishing or if anything just go out there and record some stuff uh use this platform uh and just you know be able to reach out to people hope you guys like this video stay tuned and for more videos uh throughout the rest of the 2020 and y'all have a blessed day um be easy and keep casting uh because your boy is back peace out